Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Robbie with me. We've just beaten Wolves 2-1 at the Emirates. Bro, I arrived with you to the stadium today and then... Right on, so I look for, look for you after the game and you're nowhere to be found. No, you know, you're you know apologies for everything. <laughs> it's a mad thing for me today because um, I was doing some work uh, for EAFC 24, the game. Flex. Um, yeah. <laughs> Big flex. So there was obviously, which I couldn't understand why they did the draw today for the Euro. So right. Euro 2024, they did the draw for that today. So I was sort of involved in that. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, you saw England, they yeah. got a pretty easy group. A bit like our group oh, in the Champions, Champions League. League. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I had to rush off to 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 get back and do that. But um, I know you'd hold a fort well, man. So wait, so by wait. the way, you're looking good. Right, he's got all of us, man. Yeah, you know man. I mean? Big up right, 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 man. Down. I, I, I saw so many of these in the stadium. <laughs> they smashed it with this one. It, it felt yeah. like the Jamaica top last season. By me, everyone's rocking this. But so yeah, it was EFC. Yeah, not you weren't hiding from the cold, no? Just to make sure, because no. you left me then. And... <laughs> no, I weren't hiding from the cold. It was cold, man. <laughs> Jeez. It's freezing. It's freezing. It was cold, but listen, they lit up on the pitch. First game this season that we've scored, um, you know, in the Premier League that we scored within the first 15 minutes. Yeah. Two goals within the first 15 mm -hmm. minutes. Just a bit disappointing that we didn't get any more, but I was trying to, I was trying to balance it out in my head. That, um, is, it, is it stupid to go gun-ho searching for that third goal? Or is it you're two nil up, just control the game? And, and I think that's what we did. We just kind of controlled the game. Apart from Zinchenko, that is. Yeah. We controlled the game. And listen, that was a, a, another massive win for Arsenal. Um, we're now four points at the top of the league. We know all the, the other boys have got to play tomorrow in Liverpool, in yeah. Man City, etc. But it's about putting those points on the board. And I said, coming back after the international break, the three games, um, these sort of first three games, which was, of course... Um, the, the game last week, yep. um, this one against Wolves and the game coming up against Luton. Vital that we kind of take maximum points in those games because then after that, we've got Villa, yep. we've got Brighton at home where mm. they've had a good record against us and then we go away, Damn. of course, to Anfield just before Christmas. So we're off to a great start in this little run. Yeah, you spoke about there like, you know, being 2-0 up and then should we be going gung-ho for the third or, or sitting in is there not a worry, Robbie, from what you saw last season of like when we went turn up against West Ham and this Arsenal side put, take the foot off the off the gas or the same at Liverpool? Did you, did you have any of that feeling when watching the game today? Not really. Only part of Zinchenko yeah. seemed to be just giving me nightmares mm. in the game, man. He kept. I mean, the, the the goal that we conceded, I think it was that's his yeah, fault. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? He, he's not really concentrated, and then, you know. Also, there were other moments in that game when we were in complete control I where understand. he just seemed to have a lapse of concentration and he's really got to sort that out. I think that's why sometimes we'll see in certain games, like say for instance, when we're playing Liverpool, I think if everybody's fit, I think the manager's going with Ben White and Tommy Asu. Yeah. Just for that sort of, you know, he was brilliant the other night, Zinchenko um, against Lons, but I just felt today some little lapses of concentration and, you know, Mikel Arteta will be really annoyed that we didn't keep a clean sheet mm -hmm. because, you know, apart from that, though, I thought we played really well. Yeah, in control. Scored some good goals, scored them early. And then just after that, I think this is kind of what we've got to get used to at Arsenal, which is not a bad thing to get used to. The team then just says, right, we're winning. We're up. We're going to control this game. And mm -hmm. we were controlling it right up until, you know, that last sort of misdemeanor right at the end. You know what I mean? So it's about how we're playing now. And, you know, let's be real. You know what I mean? We're looking good at the we're moment. We're looking good. I mean, I think a lot of people kept always talking about it's not clicking the fluidity at the start of the season, but you're starting to see Arsenal finding that rhythm. And 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 like you said, as long as three points on the board, we should be happy as Arsenal fans, in my opinion. I want to kind of just rewind it a little bit. Trossard starting today. We took at some individuals. Trossard starting today. Were you surprised to not see Havertz start? Um, I wasn't. I wasn't. You know what I mean? Um, I was on the start in 11 and, mm. um, show and I was saying that, you know, as um, asking the question, has Havertz finally right. earned yeah. his right to start where everybody's going to say, right, Havertz should start. And everybody on the panel said, yes, he should start today. Yeah. He's earned it. And then he doesn't <laughs> start. You know what I mean? But I, I, you know, I think you've got to look beyond this game. Um, I think it's a bit of rotation. Mm -hmm. And I personally think that the manager's looking at it and thinking, right, I'll start Trossard in this game because, you know, Wolves are not that big physical side. Yeah. Luton are. Mm. Luton are a big physical side. We know what we're gonna, they're going to do. They're going to try and get the ball up, up the pitch quick. They're going to try and be mm. really, really physical. And that's probably where a Havertz will be probably more beneficial than a Trossard. So I feel that that's why that was rotated. I feel that 
you know, um, that's why maybe Ben White didn't start because yeah. maybe he's looking at it saying, Ben White's just coming back. Let me keep back Ben White for Luton. Then have Tommy Asu on the other side. We don't know. He's like, he looks like he could have picked up an injury. Yeah. Hopefully it's just precautionary. But um, that's why I think there was a bit of rotation, a little bit of rotation going on today. But, um, you know, the players that were on the pitch were, were good enough to win the game. And it's just a shame that we didn't keep a clean sheet attacking wise, especially in that first oh. half. We looked brilliant. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> scintillating. Do, you, um, do we still need a striker though in January? Because everyone says this. Everyone's like, at least mentioned these fans said, with Jesus on the side, we are back to our fluent best. He's, he's the glue there. He keeps it all ticking. But then he's like, but I do want a striker in January. So is it a striker it's to... It's who. It's who though. It's who. That's what I keep saying to people like, who's that striker yeah. going to be? Is Ivan Tony? they're talking about 80 million and I just don't can't see Arsenal spending 80 million pounds mm. on a striker in January. <laughs> Not in January. In the summer... Listen, we did it with Declan Rice. I can see the big money. I just can't see it. I mean, I know last season we did go in big for Caicedo in January, but I'm not sure if we, we you know, and then Victor Osimen, who a lot of people mentioned, right, who's the other, right, it's crazy money. Mm. Again, that's going to be over 100 million, probably 120 million. Yep. Are we going to spend that in January? Then you look around at the other strikers that could possibly be available. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, strikers are always premium, right? And any striker that's absolutely firing at the moment, if you want them in January, you know, um, that, the, I was looking at the other day, that Bonnie face over there in, in, in Germany. Mm. You want a player like that, number one, a team's not going to want to sell him. Yes. And if they do, they're going to want mega money to let him go. So I I, I can see a sticking with what we have. I, um, I think so. Well, it's, about, it's about keeping Jesus fit. I mean, he's, he's an excellent player. I mean, he, yes, I get it. I do think long-term we need a world-class striker. Yeah. I, I, I think if we had a world-class striker in this team, what would we be doing? You know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, I, I'm not sure if we'll get that in January. Mm. I, I'm just being realistic, you know? Okay, I, yeah, I'm okay. sure we'd be linked to every striker going, but I'm just not sure if we'll get that in January. And you can see, like, at the end of the game, that chance that Eddie missed when he hit the post. To me, he's got to bury that. I I, I've sung his praises and that, but you've got to finish that chance. Mm. I, you know, that's a one-on-one -on -one you know, you, 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 I know he hit the post, but you've got to be got accurate to, yeah. to, to put that in. But Jesus, so today, I thought today was brilliant. It's, it's like he said the other day, isn't it? It's not just the goals he scores. It's everything in his all-round game. His hold-up play is brilliant. His feet are unbelievable. I, he must be an absolute nightmare. Oh, my God. Especially in the box to mark. Yeah. Maybe outside the box, you can get away. In the, you know, but in the box, you can't foul him. And he's got these quick feet. Yeah. And, and you don't Frozen know what he's going to do. Right, yeah. He's strong. You know, and he was excellent. Saka with a goal again, again. Always putting numbers on the board. Always putting numbers on the board. Always effective. Mm. You know, and Declan Rice again. Again today. You know, Everyone was singing his praises today. Brilliant player, man. He, he's got this thing where he just gets his foot in every time. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's about a move. He gets his foot in. He knows how to just like defend danger. Mm. You know what I mean? He, he's such a good player. I mean, I know... There were some people saying with the goal, maybe there's a little lapse on his part, but I think that was more Zinchenko's mm. fault rather than um, his. But you actually, you actually, sorry to cut, you actually mentioned it to me or mentioned it to me about his timing, like you just mentioned his tackles. Is think how much games he plays for us, and he really, I don't think he's even had a, he hasn't he's had not a, yellow, had a card. yellow card this like, season. I mean, it, it was him and Sal Saliba got a yellow card today, today didn't yeah. he? But he's not had a yellow card That's, this I season. And when you think of a player playing a defensive midfield position. To not have a yellow card so far, you know, what I mean, it just tells you everything about mm. his timing, and also, it's so hard to believe that this guy's just stepped into the team in his first season and he's doing what he's doing. Mm. You know, what I mean, like, it's been a brilliant, brilliant signing for Arsenal. It really has, and you know, you're thinking that we're missing Thomas Partey, and we're not even no talking about that, Thomas yeah. Partey at the moment because of the brilliance of Declan Rice. So I think he's been exceptional and we're certainly going to need to keep him fit from yeah. now till the end of the season. But he's been brilliant. Yeah, he's making Champions League games look like different non-league matches. First time he's played in the Champions League and, you know, he's playing at a super high level at Arsenal. He's just been unbelievable. unbelievable. Where are you at right now, Robbie, as a fan? As you know me, I get, I get excited. It's Christmas, around Christmas yeah, time. <laughs> but <laughs> Arsenal are top of the league, top of the Champions League group as well. Like, where are you at right now? People keep complaining about how fluid it hasn't been, but we're starting to see it more. And is it is there a bit of excitement? Or are you you so experienced in this in this in this you know Arsenal season to say it's still loads of games to play? I'm not going to get yeah. too carried away at all. But still loads of games to play. But you, yeah, we can get a bit excited that we're 
you know, once again, we're challenging. A, a lot of people might have looked at last season and thought, yeah, you know. What, what was the thing that everybody kept saying to Arsenal fans last season? You better win it this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is... It's, it's, if, the best, if, it's the best chance yeah, you'll get. it's the best yeah. chance you'll ever get. Yeah, so you yeah. better... I think we're proving that wrong right now because, like, well, hold on. We're still here again mm -hmm. this season. We're top of the league at the moment. No matter what happens tomorrow, we're top of the league. Long, long way to go. So all those people who said point. that, all those people who made that point, I'm sorry, you know I mean? This team's here to stay. It's a very, very good side that I personally think if we could get all the injured players back, you know what I mean? Why can't we challenge for the league again? Mm. You know what I mean? We're well, we're definitely challenging for the league again because we're, we're at the moment, we're top of the table. Yeah. So we, we've dispelled all of those people that were saying that as if it was just like some sort of a, we were like some one hit wonders. Yeah. We're not one hit wonders. We're back here again. And we're back here challenging. And this is a very, very good team. And the other thing I think, we're kind of learning from last year's mistakes. I agree. Maybe last year with the game today, maybe we would have been chase, chasing that third, fourth, fifth goal, right? And then get caught on the counter earlier than we did. And maybe lose. Yeah. Well, maybe not lose the game, but maybe the draw, draw a game yeah, that yeah. we should have, you know, been in control with. Maybe we've learned from them draws against Southampton and, and things like that. We definitely, are, I, I definitely feel like it looks like we've learned away from home. Yeah. We, we, we're very stingy in defence, right? We, we yeah. I think even, I, I, even looking at Europa League compared to our Champions League, last year, the Europa League, we were winning games. We weren't as comfortable as we've been in the Champions League games as well. I feel like we've learned, our squad depth's got better and we've just learned how to, to, to yeah, be we're, comfortable we're in both competitions. How, we're learning how to manage games. Even, the, even there was a point in the game today which shows me a player that's learned, which was um, Gabriel. He... He was up against Cunha. Cunha mm. kind of got the wrong side. Got the uh, he was kind of the wrong side of Cunha. Yeah. Cunha's running in a box. I think a Gabriel of last year or even the year before might have given away a penalty yeah, yeah, or yeah. something like that. But he didn't. He he just put his foot in and hit the ball away. Timed it perfectly. Mm. weren't rash. Didn't panic. That's a player to me that's learnt. Yeah. And I and I think that's what is with the team. They've learnt a lot from last year. And they're realising that, you know, the race is not for the swift. You've got to, like, you know, there's a long way to go. Don't get carried away. Don't get excited. Notice after the games, even with the players, they're not going over the top. <laughs> you know what I mean? At the end of games, they're just, like, keeping it calm, mm, yeah. celebrating with the fans, saying thank you. And then they're... Keep it moving. Next, yeah. Then next, they're off. Let's keep game. it moving. So I think it bodes well for this season. It definitely does.